happened here in this situation? There was a man who was pulling the car to right side. Did the car move? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so to which direction did it move? Left side, ma'am. Left side, ma'am. Okay, this this is left side and this is right side. So he is pulling right the cart to right side and so which direction will did the cart move then? So this is left, right. this is right. Yeah, it is moving to the right. right. Okay. And then okay. So in this case what happened? There was a small man, small blue man and there was a big red man. So they are pulling the cart in opposite directions. So in which direction do you think it moved? The cart? Right, right. 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 right side. Man. So why did it move to right side? Why do you think it moved to right side? In right side there is more force. Man. Yeah, hmm. so you are calculating the net force by subtracting the smaller force from the bigger force, right? So you just took the difference and then found out that the net, the resulting force will be towards the right side, correct? So we just saw that force can be added if they are in the same direction and force can be subtracted if they are in different directions. So force applied on an object in the same direction are to one another. And if two forces act in opposite direction on an object, then the net force acting will be the difference. So we have seen this, I think, in our very first class, some weeks back. Then we have seen that the effects of force, force can change the shape of an object. Then what can force do? Can you give me the next one, next effect? Move the object first. Ah, it can move the object. Okay, anyone else? Next one. Moving the object, uh, like there is another one, it can do, not just moving. It can change shape, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, it can change shape. Okay, birthday girl, do you want to answer? Mokshita? It can uh, lift, ma'am. It can lift. Okay, using force, we can lift things. Okay. Mokshita, can you try? Yes, ma'am. Okay, give one me. One Oh, repeat. Oh. And the question is, uh, list the effects of force. What all things force can do? So, we have just seen that it can ch change the shape of an object and Charan just said that it can change, uh, it can move an object. Then, what all things, it, he, he said that we can using force, we can lift things. So, Ma'am, shall I say? Yeah. Who is that? Change the state of an object. Yeah, Sudhir. Correct. Change the state of an object. Now, what do you mean by state of an object? Ma'am, if it is in, the, if an object is in rest, it can change, ma'am. Force can change it. Force can change? From rest to motion, ma'am. Okay. So, can you answer me what is the states of an object? Rest. Yeah, state of motion, there are two states of motion, one is rest and one is motion. Yeah, motion, motion correct. Yeah. yeah, so a force can change the state of a motion, state of motion of an object. So state of motion is determined by two things. One is its, like whether it is in rest or in motion, another thing is the direction, if it is moving, then the direction of motion, okay. So, force can change the direction of motion. That is, force can change the state of motion of an object. So, whatever you have said is correct. So, you are all remembering the things we have learned very back. Good. Now, let us look at. Why does a ball come back after thrown into the sky? I would like to have Harshavardhan to answer this. Harshavardhan, can you try to answer? When we throw a ball to the sky, it comes back after some time. So, why is it coming back? Why is it not going up? Harshavardhan, can you try? Harshavardhan? Uh, 
okay if if it's sunday gravitational force because uh, gravitational yeah charan is saying gravitational force can i know harshvardhan's answer through chat box okay i'm getting something yeah because of gravity okay anyway because of gravity now i'd like to know shiva priya's answer kusuma yeah kusuma's answer kusuma yeah due to gravity only due to gravity so do you remember what is gravitational force and what is gravity what is the difference between both okay so do you remember that what is gravity and what is gravitational force see gravity is not the property of earth alone gravity every object is attracting every other object so that force is called gravity now when so which is the force that earth uh, the attraction of earth what is that force called okay let me show it to you gravitational force ma Okay, who is saying? Yeah, Pranadi is saying gravitational force. Let's see. Okay, any other answers? Okay, so every object attracts every other object, and that force is called gravitational force. Now, force of gravitation due to Earth is called gravity. So. Uh, can you note this point so that you won't get confused between gravitational yes, force and gravity there is not much difference one force is uh, at the attractive force of earth we call it as gravity force of gravity and for gravitation we ca we can say that every object is attracting every other object maybe its magnitude is very small so we are not seeing that like we cannot physically see uh, a bo a phone here and a bottle here are attracting each other but there is some amount of attractive force between them okay so not this point every object attracts every other object and that force is called a gravitational force and force of gravitation due to earth is called gravity okay you will need it in your future classes like in your higher classes you will learn about it detail in detail but just for now you just need to know what is gravitational force and what is gravity okay now let's go back to our yeah so now you guys need to find out why is a ball coming back after thrown into sky okay is it because of gravitational force is it because of gravity now so i would like to know all your answers you can you can give it to me through whatsapp think about it and give okay think about whether it is gravitational force or whether it is gravity okay i am getting answers in the chat box also so i would like to know all your answers so after class also you can give me answers okay we'll discuss that in next class you need to know the difference between the two forces yeah so i'm getting so many answers okay good but all of you should think about it and all of you should try to answer okay we'll go to next question now why are school bags provided with broad straps and not thin straps i would like uh, navalakshmi to answer navalakshmi can you try ma'am yeah try the answer uh to open the bag ma'am to open the bag okay to open the bag why should it have a broad strap with small strap we can't open it is difficult ma'am it is difficult so what about your mother's handbag is it having a broad strap like your school bag is it difficult to open that bag mm -hmm. okay think about it is there any any other answers 
any different answers from that to balance pressure ma'am okay who is that pranadi is saying to balance pressure okay pranadi i'll come to your answer uh, i would like to know satinarayana to answer this satinarayana can you try why are school breaks provided with a broad strap satinarayana yeah this is hema hema correct hema can you try why are school bags provided with broad straps and not the thin straps so the area where you uh, put your school bags is your shoulders so at shoulders the straps are very broad not thin so why do you think okay so let's go back to pranati's answer then okay satinarayana um, so okay hema you can answer no, through the chat box first pressure on the shoulders ma'am ah okay sushmita is saying it's on the shoulders okay so why why are we giving broad straps sushmita ma'am yeah why why are the bags shoulder straps of the uh, school bags are broader so what what is the reason behind that producing less pressure ma'am okay now i i got two answers about pressure so can you tell me what is pressure define pressure the force acting on a mm. unit area is called pressure ma'am yeah force acting on a unit area is called pressure so school bags are provided with broad straps to reduce the pressure or due to the weight of the bag due to atmospheric pressure everything is there so to reduce uh, so force is nothing but uh, sorry pressure is nothing but force per unit area so when area is increased pressure is decreased okay so that's why to reduce the pressure we are using broad straps for school bags it's not for uh, like it's not uh, because of difficulty in opening and all it's because uh, to reduce the pressure on the child okay yeah i'm getting hema's answer also yeah correct correct now let's look at force so we have seen what is force we have seen two types of force do you remember first one was contact force so there will be direct contact and the next one was non contact force now there are so many types of forces we have seen so do you remember okay sudhir can you answer me one can you give me an example for a contact force okay muscular force correct sudhir okay now another another one for contact force try okay pranadi can you give me another one ma'am yeah tell me another example for contact force friction yeah friction now i would like to go to the non contact forces we have seen yeah amrita can you try to answer can you give me an example uh for non contact force okay give me an example for non contact force you can answer through chat box also no problem yeah okay so do you remember uh uh just now we just told a, a force name about earth and all okay gravitational force yeah no. gravitational force yes correct sushmita that is one now another one is yeah i'm getting answers correct gravitational force now there is if you have two magnets they attract or they repel so that is magnetic force microscope force ma'am microscope 
what is that oh, it's magnetic electrostatic force yeah force. electrostatic force can you can you explain that what is electrostatic force to your friends sushmita as mom electrostatic force is the force exerted by a charged body on another charged body ma'am yeah correct so electrostatic force is a force which is exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body okay now there is gravitational force now we have already defined pressure so pressure is nothing but force exerted per unit area now so pressure is equal to force per area unit area so now calculate the pressure exerted when 10 newton force is applied on an iron block of 0.2 meter square area so can you try that day you all solve this problem i think it's a similar problem so here what are the things we are given we are given that force 10 newton is applied on an on a iron block and the area of the iron block is given it is 0.2 meter square so now what is pressure tell me what is pressure kusuma can you answer so pressure is force per area right yes ma'am yes, so ma substitute the values and tell me the answer quickly so give me answers it's very simple so you have two quantities you just need to divide that so force is 10 newton area is 0 0.2 meter square so what will we get 50 ma'am 50 what so tell me the unit 50 newton per meter square ma'am yeah 50 newton per meter square or we can say 50 do you remember the other name for pressure pascal ma'am yeah correct 50 pascal so we can even write it as pascal so this is how you calculate pressure so i think all of you remember now we solved so many problems that day so yes, ma'am yeah now can you tell me why is the wall of a dome made thicker at the bottom so why is the wall of a dome made thicker at the bottom so what is the reason behind that the question is open to all whomever wants to answer can answer now So do you know what is, what is a dam? Dam is a place where you will build a big huge wall and collect water inside. So at the bottom of the dam we make we ensure that the bottom of the dam is made extra thick. So why do you think we are doing that? Because of pressure of water ma'am. Because of pressure of water. Can you explain a little bit elaborate that pressure of water? So, why, uh, where all will the water be? You think that the water pressure will be more at the bottom? Is it like that? Sushmita? So, you have. So, suppose this is our dam. So, I am drawing the water line. So, this is the bottom layer. So, this is 1, 2, 3. I am naming the layers of water. Now, water is this, okay? Okay, consider this is our dam. So then what happens? The, the weight of the first layer is holded by the second layer. Correct? Now second layer is holding both the weight of one first and second layers. Now third layer is holding the weight of both um, first, second and third. So look at the fourth layer. It is holding up the weight of first, second and third layers. Even the fourth ones. So the pressure of the water will be more at the bottom and in order to ensure that the dam won't break we make it a point to check whether the dams uh, the bottom of the dam is made thicker okay so we have seen what is pressure we have seen pressure exerted by fluids fluids is nothing but liquids and gases those uh, which can 
which uh, whose uh, the things which can um, which can their shapes can be changed that things are called fluids so generally we say it's liquids and gases so liquids you know right solids liquids and gases yeah because pressure of the water is more correct now we have seen two kinds pressure excited by solids and pressure excited by fluids uh, now pressure excited by liquids and now atmosphere is also exerting some pressure and we call it as atmospheric pressure so are you remembering all this should i go back to that then we saw that liquids and gases exert pressure on the walls of their containers and liquids exert pressure at equal at same depth equal uh, equal pressure at same depth and also we have seen that liquid exerts pressure at the bottom of the container and it depends on the height of the column so i'll just go back to that so that you will remember okay i think you are not Okay, I'll just show you. Oh, yeah. See, here I have a bottle. So I have marked this is one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to take a needle and pierce through the bottle. So what will happen? The bottle is filled with water. The water will flow out. Now when we when we did this as an experiment, it happened that the water is falling like this. So I have four holes here and the first hole the water is flowing downwards second one it's going a further away and look at the last one it's going too away and the speed of the water going was high at the bottom so it meant that pressure at the bottom is pressure of the water at the bottom is very high than that of pressure at the top layers okay now this is the dam so the dams are made thicker at the bottom because to withhold the pressure of all this water at the top layers so pressure will be maximum at the bottom uh, now yeah so we have seen that gases exert pressure also that that we can see in the case of balloons when we try to uh, when we try to inflate a balloon it uh, the air inside is pulling the elastic of the balloon and that's why it is changing the shape it is becoming getting bigger and bigger okay so air exerts pressure on the inner walls now yeah all this we have seen i think yeah. so then so atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is nothing but the pressure exerted by atmosphere so similarly as we are calculating pressure so force divided by area we can calculate atmospheric pressure also okay uh, then that's it so liquid exert pressure at the bottom of a container and it depends on the height of its height of the water level this i have shown you using a video and now liquid exert pressure on sides of the container and liquid exerts equal pressure at same depth so if i have if i have a uh, water like this in a container so here if i take here and here the it's uh, it's in the same level okay i am taking this as point a and taking this as point b so a at a and b the pressure exerted will be the same because they are at the same level so if i have a point c here now the pressure exerted by the liquid on the walls will be different at a and c it will be different so they are not at the same depth okay okay now let's go and play a game i'll show you something and yeah if time permits we can yeah before that i would like to show you one more thing so look at this figure so there is a person a there is a person b and they are trying to push uh, a box okay they are trying to push a box and note that the person a is standing at the right at the left side this is left 
So, just not down in your notebook left A person A and he is pushing the box towards right. So, right person B. Okay, we need it for our game. So, that is why I am just asking you to note this figure. So, A is at left side, B is at right side and A is pu pushing the box to right and B is pushing the box, box to the left. Okay. So, what happens if A is pushing it to the right? Uh, suppose the box is moving to the right, then whose force is greater? Can you tell me? So, the box, they are pushing the box and whose force will be greater if the box, force, box will be moving towards the right? So, this is right. B. Okay, B. Person B. Okay, how is it person B? This is box is moving towards right. So, whose force is greater? Left man. Okay, so note that the person in A, in the left is A and in the right is B. Okay. Now, if the box is moving towards right, whose force is greater? So, now the box is moving to right side. So, whose force is greater? Okay. Am I confusing? So, from this we can infer that whoever is pushing the box with greater pressure, greater force, the box will be moving to the direction which he is pushing, correct? So, if he is pushing the box with greater pressure, pressure, then his position is left but the box will be moving to right. So, box will be moving this direction, okay? And now, let me show you something. So, I am going to give you a game. So, I will first show you how to play that and tell you. So, this is the site you are going to go and I will give you a demonstration of how you can play this with me. So, together we are going to play and find out who is the winner, who remembers things the most and who can, who can infer things the most. Okay. So, this, okay. Is, this is our game. Days time, so, uh, yeah. So, okay. Okay, it takes a little bit of time. So, here is your phone, I will show you both. So, how we are going to play? I will show you my screen. So, this will be this uh, violet will be my screen and this is your screen when we are playing this game, okay? So, I will give you okay, a code. Ma okay, children, I will give you a code, a pin so that you can play, you can enter into the game and then you will play. Okay, I will mute this music, it is. Okay, so this is your pin. So, I will also give you a pin and now I will show you how to play this. So, I will enter this pin 8469492. Okay, 9492. Okay, then this is your, this site I will give you the address and when you arrive at that site, you, they will ask for a game pin. So, the pin I will give you and then you have to enter the game. So, Mama, you didn't understand. Okay. Uh, okay. 
see I, I will give you this uh, ID now in the chat box okay this one okay, ma okay, ma and then you okay. in your phone you will get a screen like this when you go using in Chrome you, when you open that screen open that ID open that okay, ma uh, the address I am giving you will get a screen like this so here they are asking for a game pin yes ma'am okay. I will give you that game pin and then you need to enter that and then they will ask for a name, nickname but you have to enter your real name. So if Sudhir is playing, so you have to write Sudhir. If I am playing, I will write my name. So for showing you, I will just show you. So this is and so I will go. So after everyone joins, I will start the game. So this is your screen, the phone showing here is your screen so you will only get the options okay so the question will be shown in my screen so i will read out the questions so see the red first option is red second is blue third is yellow and fourth is green so two for the okay, next question we'll play the next question So we have the question 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, which will be the next number. So is it 0, 36, 49 or 25? What do you think will be the answer? So 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. 36 ma'am. Okay, someone 30. was saying 36. So it is color blue. So I will go to blue. Okay, the time was up again, sorry. So like that we are going to play this. Okay, everyone okay, has to play. Then only it is interesting, right? Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay ma'am. Yeah. So I would like to get your answers. Okay, I'll I'll give you the idea. Okay, first you just note down the code, the pin. Okay. Uh, I would like to let you know that the time uh, the winners will be the one who is. Uh, who will be answering first as well as the answer should be correct so you people have to think about so you people have to think about whether your answer is correct so you will get one minute or something more than one minute think about whether your answer is correct and then answer okay so you will be given four uh, choices and you you it's a uh, it's you won't be able to see so you have to be in the call itself okay i'll be i'll be reading out the options for you okay is that clear for you okay, yes, okay now note down okay, this number three nine four three nine four four two six five three nine four mommy said the uh, you you the Link yeah, I'll give you the link first. Note down this uh, this one, and even if you uh, even if you are exiting from uh, the Google Meet, just try to go, uh, join back, okay? Otherwise, you won't be able to see the question. Correct? Okay. Okay. So three nine four four two six five. Did you write it now in the notebook? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then I'll be. Yeah, I'll give you the. ID, I will give you the address. Yeah. So now quickly join. So we have 10 more minutes. We have to finish that. It's an interesting game. So you will see it's fun. Okay, I'll. So quickly join and give your real names, okay? And don't leave the meet, please. If you leave, you won't be able to play it. Yeah, Charan has joined. Quickly join. Yeah, Raja Rajeshwari. Good. So, two have joined. Uh, quick GNU 55. Uh, I am sorry, but... Can you use your real name? What is your name? Sushmita. Okay. Kusuma. Hmm.
Hema, yeah. I am waiting for everyone to join. So, we will play this game today. Raja Rajeshwari, Charan, Venkat. Yeah, I will just inform if someone has. Okay, in the class group. So, is everyone in? No, I only got 6, 7, 8 people. Try to join faster. So, yeah. Okay, I am seeing Ramya, amazing, amusing, last 61, yeah, I am seeing some names, but uh, I think some of you has to join. Mokshita, I am not seeing you. Mokshita? Ma'am, I joined. Okay, which is your ID? I am not seeing you. Seven, I only, seven people are here. Okay, try to join faster. Harshavardhan, did you join? Navalashmi, did you join? Likhita? Yeah, join, join. Yeah, now it's 8. Okay, Likhiteshri is there. Yeah, one more person has. Kusuma, yeah, Kusuma is there. Okay. Sharata, uh, okay, I don't know. Navalashmi. Okay, is everyone in? Is everyone in oh, so that we can start the game? See, I, I can see 16 members in the group, but I am not seeing anyone in the game. So, join the link. This link, ma'am. Okay. okay. Once she again send this, ma'am. Okay, one minute. Okay, first note down this na number 3, 9, so that you, oh, okay. Can you see my screen? 394 4265. If you have this pin only, you will be able to join. Okay. Ma'am, this is there. Ma'am, okay. okay. Yeah, 10 people has joined. Now, 6 more, or, or, yeah, 5 or 6 to join again. No. Yeah, join fast, join fast. Okay, Pranadi, you are saying something. Tell me. Nothing, madam. Okay. Speak yeah, number is decreasing. So, should I start? So, if I start, no, what, ha what will happen is that you won't be able to complete the quiz. It's a very fun game now. Yeah, so I think 10 is the number you are joining. So, I will play. I will start. Okay, so I uh, will read out the question and you need to in your screen, what will you, will you see? Four boxes. Okay, red. First option is red. Second option is blue. Third option is yellow and fourth is green. I will be reading the options in this order. Okay, red, blue, yellow, green. So, yeah, uh, one more has left, I think, in the chat. Okay, I can see. Ma'am, it's not coming. Why is it not coming? Okay, try it. Okay, Satyanarayan. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, can you try to join again? Like now, the number is decreasing. So, I will start the game anyway. Okay. I try to join again, try to join again. I will wait for one more minute and then I will start because we have been stay, staying here for a long time. Yeah, yeah, Amrita has joined, yeah. So, Deeraj, yeah. Can you try? Can you try now? Satyanarayana? 
So, can you try now? Okay. First, Satyanarayana, first you have to note down the numbers. Yeah. Note down the pin, then you can go to the link. Otherwise, you won't be able to locate. Okay. Sorry, three nine four it is. Pin is wrong. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, three nine four four two six five. Yeah, I think eleven are here. So we'll start. Rohit. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So we'll start, children. Okay, again the number is decreasing. Yeah, ma'am. What is happening? Start, ma'am. Yeah, start, start, start. Start, ma'am. Okay. Be ready. I will be reading the uh, question as well as the option. So, take your time. So, the first okay, question I have given uh, some more time. So, take your time and, and give your answers. Give correct answers. Try to give correct answers. Okay. Time is not okay, that important for you. Give correct answers. Okay. I am starting now. Yeah, 3, 2, 1, the first quiz. Two boys A and B are playing force on a block or applying force on a block. If the block moves towards the right, which of the following is correct? First option, magnitude of force applied by A is smaller than that of B. Net force on the block is towards A. Magnitude of force applied by A is equal to that of B. So, force applied by A is greater than that of B. I will read the question again. You have time. So, two boys A and B are applying force on a block. Remember the picture. If the block moves towards right, which of the following is correct? First option, red one. Magnitude, okay. For A mm -hmm. is applying smaller force than B. Second one, mm -hmm. okay. Magnitude of force applied by A is greater than that of B. Okay. That is the fourth option. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You, you cannot answer. You cannot answer through uh, like chat. Uh, you are, you can't unmute. Is your... the trolley moving towards A? Our uh, trolley is moving towards B. Okay, ma'am. Okay, children. You have to answer through the not the hand uh, answer, but you have to touch the blocks. Loading, man. Okay. It was loading. Okay, okay, okay. So now, can you try to answer? Now you have 30 seconds. So I'll read the question again. Two boys, A and B, are applying a force on a block. If the block is moving towards right, which of the following man, is correct? It is loading. It is loading. Yes, Genius machine, it is loading, ma'am. Okay, it says pure genius service was loading. Okay, okay. Maybe after, yeah, now you have to answer. Okay. So, ma'am, share the link again, ma'am. Ma it's correct, it was coming. Yeah. Seven of you have answered it correctly. So, it since it's the, the, it was the first question, it's okay. Okay. Who wants the link again? I'll, I'll send it again. So, is it fun? Can we play it now? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ma it is loading, ma'am. First answer. Again, it's loading, huh? So, tell me when it is not loading, when it is loaded. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will wait for one more minute. No, it can correct for us. Uh, yeah. Answer to one. Yeah. Okay, so who is having a problem now? Who is having a problem now? Is it okay? Is it corrected? Ma'am, are you presenting second question? Yeah, I'm going to present Pranati. I'm going to start now. Okay. In, okay, now I'm going to the next question, okay? 
Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing the scoreboard. Amrita has scored. Sharon, Kusuma, Raja Rajeshwari, and Ligideshwari. Good. And yeah, that's that's the timing also. It's okay. It's okay. I just I saw that seven of you have answered correctly, and two of you got it wrong. So next question onwards, try to get your answers correct. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. The next question. Which action is used in riding a bicycle? So first one, throwing. Red one is throwing. Second one, blue is lifting. Third one, yellow is picking. And green is pushing. So, the question, I will read question again. Which action is used in riding a bicycle? Which action is used in riding a bicycle? First one, throwing. Red is throwing. Blue is lifting. Yellow is picking. And green is pushing. You can answer. You have time. So, once if you answer once, you won't be able to change it. Okay. So, think and then answer. Which action is used in riding a bicycle? Red, throwing. Blue, lifting. Yellow, picking. And green, pushing. Yeah, again, again, I'm seeing seven answers. Yeah, seven. Okay. So, I got the answer as, uh, yeah. Now, the scoreboard has changed. Two people, okay, three couldn't get the correct answer. So, try to get the correct answers, okay? All of, uh, all mm -hmm. of you have scored well and all are trying to come up. Good. Okay, next one. Question. In which activity one object applies force on another object? Red, batsman hitting a cricket ball. Blue, a hand of a clock is moving. Yellow, a chapati is being cooked. And green, glass of water turning into ice. In which activity one object applies force on another object? Red, a batsman hitting a cricket ball. Blue, a hand of clock moving. Yellow, a chapati being cooked. And green, a glass of water turning into ice. Yeah, six have answered, seven have answered. Eight, nine. Yeah, I got nine answers. So, nine. So, I think everyone has answered. Ten answers. Okay, ten. So, yeah. Seven of you have answered is correctly. The answer is a batsman hitting a cricket ball. So, in which activity one object applies force on another object. So, while a batsman is playing, he is hitting the cricket ball. So, he is giving pro, uh, force to the ball. So, force is applied, right? And someone has answered chapati being cooked. Okay, it is not chapati is making me made. It is like chapati is being heated up. So, that is why it is a wrong answer here and someone has answered a glass of water turning into ice. So, there you cannot say force is applied by someone, correct? Force is applied by water into ice. You cannot say it like that. So, clearly you have an option, a batsman is hitting a cricket ball. So, there batsman is giving force to the ball. So, the answer is first one and seven of you have answered, yeah, correctly. Okay, now let us look at the next question. During dry weather, while combing hair, sometimes we experience that hair is flying apart. The force responsible for this is red, force of friction, okay, blue, electrostatic force, and C, magnetic force. And D, force of gravity. So, during dry weather, while combing hair, sometimes we experience hair is falling apart. The force responsible for this, correct, force of friction, blue, electrostatic force, 
yellow magnetic force and green force of gravity. So, I have got 7 answers. Yeah, you have time. So, take your time and answer. Yeah, 11 have answered. So, let us me check your answers. Okay. So, the answer was blue electrostatic force. Okay. Now, let us move to the next question. A girl is pushing a box towards east, east direction. In which direction should her friend push the box so that it moves faster? Southwest, east, northwest, west. A girl is pushing a box towards east direction. So, in which direction should her friend push the box? so that it moves faster. Red is southwest, blue is east, yellow is northwest and green is west. Southwest, east, northwest and west. Okay. One more to answer. Yeah, all have answered. So, yeah. Some have given it as southwest. So, see, we need the box to move faster. So, so the force should be given towards the direction it is applied, correct? So, a girl is pushing the box towards east. So, if she is asking her friend to push so that it the box is move, moving, box should move faster the friend also should push it towards the same direction. So, she should also push it towards east direction. So, the correct answer is east and 5 of you have answered east and I am sorry, 5 of you have answered it west. I think you got uh, the question a bit wrong. See, in which direction should her friend push the box so that the box moves faster. So, to move the box faster, you need to have more force. So, you just saw that forces in the same direction adds up. So, if you give force in the west direction, so it will, the force, net force will be decreased. So, we will, the net force will be the difference between the two forces and hence the box will be slowed down, correct? So, that is why the box should be moved towards the same direction, east, okay? Now, let us move to the next question. Yeah, the scoreboard is changing every second it seems. Okay. The next question, two objects repel each other. This repulsion could be due to. Two objects repel each other. This repulsion could be due to. Red, friction. Repel means what ma'am? Okay. Do you know attraction? Attract? Yes ma'am. Okay. The opposite of attract, repel. They are... They are repelling. Can you understand that? Repel? It's a, did you see that magnetic uh, video? Magnetic force yes, uh, video. In there, mm, two magnets were kept. When they were kept in same uh, pole, like north-north, they repelled. They went away. Correct? That is repelling. Okay. The question is two objects repel each other. This repulsion could be due to. The options are friction, atmospheric pressure, electrostatic force, gravitational force. Friction, atmospheric pressure, electrostatic force, gravitational force. Okay, Pranati, I will answer that. Okay, 10 answers, I like 16 seconds more. Okay, so... Three have answered it to be friction. Okay, friction is a force which comes into play when there is motion. So, friction opposes motion. That is what you have seen. So, it is not friction. When two objects are repelling each other, so it is due to either due to magnetic force or due to electrostatic force. So, in the options given, the electrotics, electrostatic force was the only one we can choose was the correct one. Okay. Electrostatic force, there is an attraction, correct? So, if you bring a charged body, 
if you bring if you remember that balloon and wall so if you bring a charged balloon towards the wall or towards another charged balloon it will repel it will go away it will move away so it's because of electrostatic force okay okay now let's move on to the next one so someone has answered gravitational force gravitational force is the gravitational force is an attractive force it's not a repulsive force okay okay next yeah two have answered atmospheric pressure so how is atmospheric pressure coming into this think about it okay let's move to the next one scoreboard is nothing but i can see your scores now okay the question a person x pushes a cart with force another person y starts pushing the cart in the opposite direction with the same force so what will happen red it will change the shape of the cart blue it changes the direction of the cart and yellow it brings the cart to rest and green it increases the speed of the cart so two persons are pushing the carts from opposite direction with equal force so what will happen red it will change the shape blue it changes the direction yellow it brings the car to rest and green it increases the speed of the car yeah 10 has answered okay i think only 10 people are playing yeah 11 okay good Yeah, eight has answered it correctly. It brings the car to rest. So, how will so two have answered that it will change the shape of the car? How do you think uh, it will change the shape? See, a person is pushing the car. Okay, remember uh, our box and A and B. I showed you a picture be in the beginning, uh, like in today's class before this quiz. So there, two persons are applying force. and now what happens is that they are applying equal force from opposite direction so the net force will be zero so there won't be any change so the the box will be at the at its rest position so how can it change the sh shape of the cart and yeah someone has answered it is increasing the speed of the cart see if it is it was not equal force is applied on the opposite direction it will definitely have increase the speed of the cart so most of you have answered it to be the car it brings the car to rest okay good now next yeah wow venkat is leading okay the next question a ball is moving at a speed of 5 km per hour a boy kicks it in the same direction what would be the likely speed of the ball okay a ball is moving at 5 km per hour and a boy is kicking the ball in the same direction so in which of the following will be the speed of the ball red 10 km per hour blue 5 km per hour yellow 0 km per hour and green 3 km per hour so red is 10 blue 5 yellow 0 and green 3 so a ball is moving at a speed of 5 km per hour and a boy is kicking it in the same direction okay ball is moving boy is kicking in the same direction now answer in which which what which of the following will be the speed of the ball 10 5 0 3 km per hour okay think and answer children so don't hurry and answer you will okay i have i got 12 answers yeah five of you have answered 10 km per hour okay five have answered again 5 km per hour see our question was a ball is already moving in 5 km per hour speed with 5 km per hour speed and uh, the ball is moving with 5 km per hour speed and a boy is kicking the ball in the same direction so he is applying force to the ball in the same direction so what happens if you kick the ball if uh, in the same direction if it and it was moving earlier then it will move with more more speed correct 
do you remember of playing football and all so if you kick the ball in the same direction it will move with a faster speed so here the only one having more speed than in all the choices is 10 km per hour more than 5 km anyway it will move more than at a speed which is more than 5 km per hour so the correct answer is 10 km per hour okay let me check yeah okay next the, what happens when air is blown into a balloon right it changes its states changes blue shape changes yellow no change and green direction changes what happens when air is blown into a balloon its state changes shape changes no change direction changes yeah, 9 have answer 10. Yeah. Okay, good. So, all have answered. So, I will check. Yeah, most of you have answered shape changes. So, one has answered it's state changes. So, state of the object is uh, like at rest or motion. So, two states are there. It is rest or motion. So, when an, a an air is filled into a balloon, so it's already in, in not moving so it's it's at rest so if you if you feel if, if you inflate a balloon it won't move correct if you push or if you if you throw it then only it will move so this there is no change in the state and one uh, two have answered that there is no change so don't you think the balloon will inflate balloon will get bigger in size so there is a change in shape Okay, so let's go to the next. Okay, yeah, one end of a spring is fixed to a support, and other end is attached to a weight. What are the changes you observe? So red, the length of the spring will decrease. Blue, the thickness of the spring will decrease. Yellow, the thickness of the spring, spring will increase and green, the length of the spring will increase. So, a spring is fixed to a support and other end of the spring is attached to a weight. So, what are the changes you observe to the spring? Red, length of the spring decrease, thickness of the spring will decrease, thickness of the spring will increase and the last option the length of the spring will increase. So, a weight is hanging to the spring. So, what will happen? Okay, I have got 11 answers. I think one more to answer. Yeah, I got all the answers. Yeah, 7 of you have answered it correctly. The length of the sp spring will increase. So, if there is, uh, if the spring is uh, attached to a wall or something to a support and a weight is put the, at the end of the spring what happens to the spring the spring will elongate it it's it's the length will increase right so i think it's by mistake someone uh, four of you have answered the length of the spring will decrease the length of the spring will increase okay okay then there is no change in the thickness so two of you have answered that too there won't be any change in the thickness thickness is so i think that is also a, a mistake by your part Okay, only the length changes when you hang a spring or when a weight is hung upon a spring. Okay, so let's move to the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there is a change in the lead. Okay. What is an example of a non-contact force? Red, reducing the speed of a ball sliding over a ramp. Blue, an apple falling from a tree. A ball bouncing on the ground, drawing water from a well. So, what is an example of a non-contact force? Reducing the speed of a ball sliding over a ramp, an apple falling from a tree, a ball bouncing on the ground and drawing water from the well. Six have answered. What is an example of a non-contact force? Non-contact force. Red. 
reducing the speed of a ball sliding over a ramp. So a ball is moving and it is sliding over a ramp and if you are reducing the speed of the ball, will it be an example of a non-contact force? That is the first rule. Then the second option, an apple is falling from a tree. Is that an example for a non-contact force? Then yellow, a ball bouncing on the ground and green, drawing water from a well. Yeah. Uh, so five have answered an apple falling from a tree. So non-contact forces, in non-contact forces what will happen? There won't be any interaction between two objects. There won't be any contact. Okay. So reducing the speed of a ball sliding over a ramp. So, to reduce the speed of a ball, you need to have a contact with the ball. So it is an example for a contact force. And yeah, an apple falling from a tree. So why is the apple falling from a tree? Due to gravitational force. Gravitational yeah, gravitational force, you can say gravity. So then, yeah, then what about drawing water from a well? So to draw it is water. muscular force. Yeah, it's muscular force. So muscular force is a contact force. Hence, it is also not the answer. So I think there is a tie between drawing water from a well and apple falling from a tree. So look at the question carefully and then answer, okay? So let's see. Next question. Yeah, yeah. There is a change in your scores and all. Okay, I will tell you that. A student has a compass. The needle of the compass moves as the compass moves. Which force causes the movement of the needle? First, magnetic force. Second, muscular force. Third, frictional force. And fourth, gravitational force. So, a student has a compass. You know compass, right? It shows direction. So, the needle of the compass moves as the compass moves. So, if you change the compass, the needle moves. So, which is the force causing this movement of the needle? Options, magnetic force, muscular force, frictional force and gravitational force. Yeah, so I have got all of you answers. Yeah, mo most of you have answered it correctly, magnetic force. Yeah, some have answered muscular force. So, how? Okay, you thought that it, since you are ha having it in your hand, it is muscular force. But you don't have any contact with the, the needle of the compass, right? So, it is magnetic force. So, the needle is kind of magnetic. That's why it is happening there. So, the needle is moving uh, according to our direction. So, it's, it's magnetic force, okay? Okay, somehow I answered frictional. I don't know how you got frictional force. Yeah, gravitational force is also wrong. Okay, next. Yeah. The question, how much pressure would be exerted by a block exerting 20 Newton of force on 0 0.5 meter square area? So, now calculate the pressure. Force is 20 Newton. Area is 0 0.5 meter square. Okay. Red, 40 Newton per meter square. Blue, 20 Newton per meter square. Yellow, 25 Newton per meter square. And green, 10 Newton per meter square. Okay. I will give you the values again. So, you have more time for this. Do not give answers too fast and get it wrong. Okay. So, the force is 20 Newton and area is 0 0.5 meter square. So, calculate the pressure. Red, 40 Newton per meter square. Blue, 20 Newton per meter square. Yellow, 25 Newton per meter square. And green, 10 Newton per meter square. Forty Newton per meter square, twenty Newton per meter square, twenty-five Newton per meter square, and ten Newton per meter square. Okay, calculate and then answer. Okay, I have got eleven answers now. Okay, good. So you are fast calculators. Yeah, twelve have answered. Okay, then let's check the answer. Yeah, 6 of you have answered it correctly. The answer was 40 Newton per meter square. So, 20 pressure is force per area, 
20 by 0.5. So, you will get it as 40 Newton per meter square. Correct. So, let us move. Okay. The question is student adds water in a balloon. The student notices that the balloon becomes big. Which of the statement is correct? The air exerts pressure towards the bottom of the balloon. The surrounding air exerts pressure on the liquid. The liquid exerts pressure on towards the wall of the balloon and the liquid exerts pressure to the top of the balloon. See a student is adding water in a balloon. So, there is a change in the shape of the balloon. So, which of the statement is correct? First one air exerts pressure towards the bottom of the balloon. Second one surrounding air exerts pressure on the liquid. Third one the liquid exerts pressure towards the wall of the balloon. And fourth one liquid exerts pressure to the top of the balloon. Okay, I have got answers. So, let me check. Okay, what was the answer? Okay, uh, I think it is the uh, fourth one, I guess. So, I could not see that now. Okay, I will tell you the answer afterwards. I cannot see the screen now. Okay, the next question. Area of a small plate is 15 centimeter into 15 centimeter and air in column exerts a force of 2250 Newton that is 2250 Newton on it calculate atmospheric pressure. So, area of a small plate is 15 centimeter into 15 centimeter and air in column exerts a force of 2250 2250 Newton on it calculate atmospheric pressure options are 10 Newton per meter square 10 Newton per centimeter square 0 Newton per centimeter square and 15 Newton per centimeter square. Okay, I will read the question again, calculate and find out. The area of a small plate is 15 centimeter, 15 centimeter into 15 centimeter. And air in column exerts a force, force is given to be 2250 Newton, 2250 Newton on it calculate the atmospheric pressure. Now, the options are A 10 Newton per meter square, blue 10 Newton per centimeter square and yellow 0 Newton per meter centimeter square and green 15 Newton per centimeter square. Okay, so, the area is given to be 15 one five centimeters into 1 5 centimeter and force is 2250 Newton, 2250 Newton and find out the atmospheric pressure. So, options are 10 Newton per meter square, 10 Newton per centimeter square, 0 Newton per centimeter square and 15 Newton per centimeter square. So, 8 have answered, let us 9. Okay, I will repeat the question if. Okay, the area of a small plate is 15 into 15 centimeter squared and area air in a column exerts a force of 2250 Newton on it calculate atmospheric pressure. 10 Newton per meter squared, 10 Newton per centimeter squared, 0 Newton per centimeter squared and 15 Newton per centimeter squared. Look at the units also. Okay, two more to answer. Should I repeat? Should I repeat children? Okay, I will repeat two more to answer. So, the area of a small plate is 15 centimeter into 15 centimeter and air in column exerts a force of 2250 Newton on it 
calculate atmospheric pressure. Options 10 Newton per meter square, 10 Newton per centimeter square, 0 Newton per centimeter square and 15 Newton per centimeter square. So, let us wait like the time is going 16 seconds now. Five seconds. Okay. Sure. Moment. Okay. So you, yeah, I knew that you might probably go for ten newton per meter squared. So you have to look at the units. See, I was repeating again and again 15 centimeter into 15 centimeter. You, you, I know you are very good in calculating, but you need to be careful about the units. So, here it is centimeter squared, correct? Area, area was centimeter squared. So, the answer is 10 Newton per centimeter squared. And yeah, some have answered 15 Newton per centimeter squared. Yeah, most of you have answered that. So, did you get the values wrong? I think so. So, let us look at the results now. Come back children, let us look at the results. Yeah, who is the winner? Okay, third place goes to Raj Rajeshwari, second place goes to Kusuma and first place goes to Pranati. Okay, congrats. Okay, runners up are also there. Okay, I can't see. Okay, let me. Most of you have tried to answer using your correct answers. Okay, that is good because you need, you will get more time. Here, since it is a quiz, the time was there, but it is okay. And congrats to all the winners. All of you have answered it perfectly good. And the game, I think it was fun. Was it good? Did you like the game? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, yes, in the next yeah. classes also, I will try yeah. to come up with something like this. But the thing is, see, only 16 were there and 12 maximum participated. So, I think I should want everyone to answer. That is the thing. So, I will give this as a challenge and I will put it in the group. So, those who have played cannot play, okay. Others try to play. You can play using, okay, tell me. To play some more time, ma'am. Okay, I will give you one max one after some time, but uh, okay, maybe after next class. I will try to give. Okay, ma'am. Okay, something fun. Okay, so during try with, yeah, some of the questions, I didn't answer one of the question, right? What was that? Okay, I don't know. Okay, I think all of you got the answers and all. I will give this uh, yes, quiz to your group also, so that everyone will try to answer, try to play this. So, you have already tried and you have got the answers. So, let others also try and get the answers. Okay, then see you in the next class. I am sorry for taking up like half an hour extra. I am sorry because it is No, uh, it is okay, ma'am. Yeah. It okay. is very funny. <laughs> we enjoyed a lot more. Thank you. So, let us meet again in the next class and try to join next class. Um, like, next class is kind of important. We are going into next chapter. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, come up early that day. Okay, ma'am. Okay, see you. Bye bye. Okay,